And now you've been around, you know, since the early, you know, the early forming of the gangs and the Crips and everything. And, you know, you've kind of seen uh, everything evolve from, uh, you know, from way back then to now. You, you know, is there any stories you can share about uh, Tookie Williams or Raven Washington from back in those days? Uh, yes. And a lot of times we hear these guys trying to assassinate their characters like they created a gang to where they were given orders, oh, you guys go kill that, uh, this or that. But let me tell you about OG, original Crips and Bloods. I never heard one of them ask any youth to go do a crime or to join them. That didn't come till later on in time when it started being fashionable, uh, 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 the way you could get a tattoo, be a rapper, or just claim something without actually coming in the same way we did or uh, uh, representing like we did. Uh, but here go uh, one of the misconceptions about Tookie that a lot of people don't know. Tookie only lived to be 24 years old, uh, Raymond Washington too. And the more the story is, uh, usually when it comes to this gang violence and gang activity, uh, their murders and uh, deaths really uh, exemplifies the life that you get into. One died in the streets, Raymond Washington, who I happened to be with the day before. And then you had Tookie who got arrested by the criminal justice system. And once again, the paperwork where you've seen the transcripts, those things are just as important as taking somebody's life as a gun. And because of what was written in that transcript in black and white, Took he lost his life to the criminal justice system, which actually occurs when you are a gang member and really active. Those are the two alternatives. But uh, let's clear the myth about Tookie and them being violent. They were fighters, and that was part of the thing. We hear they say they were bullies and stuff like that, but they wasn't killers. That's what they wasn't. Tookie, after getting out of Factor Brookings, moved to Compton, which basically ended the West Side Crips. It's because now Tookie, in 72, don't move to Compton to start working for the juvenile justice system. So in 72, I was 15, Tookie was 19 at that time, or 18 in uh, 72. So Tookie never went to jail till he started back to messing with drugs, which the same thing they do now and doing things that you wouldn't normally do under normal conditions in, a, in a, a right state of mind. And a lot of times these guys that commit crimes uh, would have a, a way to plead a, a not guilty by reason of insanity, but they are not afforded it in the court of law as say as somebody that shot a, a president a, 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 uh, 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 who was that, uh, Bush, when uh, Grady got shot and uh, uh, he was Reagan and Bush was there, he got to go to St. Elizabeth. Uh, a lot of them get the mental illness, but now when it comes to a blacks, uh, they treat us and criminalize us and punish us as opposed to rehabilitation. So uh, Tookie had one and started running uh, boys' homes uh, in Compton, one on Ponderosa and Pine another one behind Centennial, and another one to start helping youths, and that's where he got shot at. When you hear about Tookie uh, was shot in the leg, had to go through rehabilitation and lose his leg and stuff like that. But one of the most uh, vivid memories of Tookie and us being together was at the forum back in the days of uh, Let's Get It On with Marvin Gaye Parliament, uh, Michael Jackson, and all this, about 1973, 74, and him and Jamel had on overalls and they went to flexing and all the arena was looking at them and they took the spotlight off the stage and put it on them. Uh, that was uh, one of the occasions uh, with Raymond Washington. Uh, I met Raymond early in 1971, 72, when he used to be with Psycho Mike, uh, uh, Craig Craddock, and they were East Side Crips or Cribs at that time, right at that time, then they became formalized as Crips and they started consolidating. And back then, uh, Raymond legacy is kind of lost because like Tookie, unlike Tookie, they would give Took a chance. 
they wasn't just sinning. The whereas Raymond went to prison early with Jetson Baycott and him. So when he got out in about 76, or right up in there, he started hanging back out with me, the Hoovers, and the McCoys, as opposed to being on the east side, him, one Eye Clint, and his crew, Sugar Bear, we doing uh, the gang intervention. And so Raymond, contrary to what other people thought, uh, was a fighter. I never seen none of these guys ever possess a gun, other than when Tookie, after he got shot, when he bought the shotgun, later on in life that would have been allegedly loosed in the murders. And so I was with Raymond uh, right before uh, he got uh, assassinated or slain. And uh, I had been on the east side in the Peblos, the low bottom, shooting dice with twin, Ronald and Donald Bird, uh, Termite, uh, 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 Fred, and all these cats, uh, Killer Call, all these guys that end up doing time later on for all kind of stuff. And I just had hit a jewelry store lick where we had robbed uh, Fred Meyer jewelry store for about a million dollars of jewelry out in Beverly Hills on Wilshire. So I see him where I'm coming back from shooting dice. I got money on me, you know, because we shoot dice for the ice around our necks. That's how we was getting it. And uh, I see Raymond and I give him some money. And then, uh, in fact, he got killed either the next day because I went to jail where the FBI arrested me. Uh, August, around August 8th or 9th, right up in there, I got arrested and that's when he got assassinated. Then you had Mac Thomas, who I met through Big Jack and them from Front Street, Back Street, Cute 102 when they first coming out. This one we going up to Lock High, uh, right during the time when Valerie Briscoe Hooks, uh, brother Melvin was shot uh, tragically. Uh, doing some gang violence that erupted back in 1974 and he was killed on the track. Uh, so you had Mac Thomas uh, from Compton Eastside, James Compton, Ricky Silas, Styles, uh, Styles Monette, Johnny Dotson, Big Jack, Sugar Bear, uh, PP, uh, 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 Chocolate that got killed, uh, slain in front of the uh, 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 Lock High School. Uh, by the Athens Park boys, the Figueroa boys, and the Denver Lanes that was going there. So uh, these guys here that you see, the older ones that are getting a bad rap about, oh, they, they told them to do this. That's not true. By the time America caught on to the Crips and Bloods, the damage had been done. And you can tell when they caught on because they made quite a few laws that affect America because of the behavior of the Browns, not only the blacks, the Browns, in uh, Los Angeles, the juvenile fitness hearing that Charleston White and other ones are eligible to get when you commit a violent crime at 14, 15, or 16. Uh, the 1020 gun law, uh, 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 being uh, labeled as a gang member, uh, 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 tattoos get your time. All these type of things and laws, home invasion, carjacking, uh, ex-con with a gun. None of these things were really being fully implemented back then. There's no way the guys that started gang banging after 1977 and on down could accumulate 40 arrests, uh, get two years for a murder, get cited out for a, a carjacking or a home invasion, get the gun back when you get caught with the gun. That's how it was back then. 